Ever wondered how a cleverly crafted comedy can reveal profound truths about love, identity and human nature? Today, we'll be delving into one of the most celebrated comedies in the history of English literature that does exactly that. Twelfth Night by none other than William Shakespeare. This timeless classic has captivated audiences for centuries with its engaging plot, memorable characters and insightful exploration of human nature. At the heart of Twelfth Night are the themes of love, deception and the fluidity of identity, all of which are expertly interwoven to create a compelling narrative that continues to resonate with us today. The play is set in the enchanting land of Illyria, a place where nothing is as it seems and everyone is not who they appear to be. We meet a host of fascinating characters, each with their own quirks and foibles, all caught up in a delightful web of mistaken identities and romantic entanglements. Now let's dive deeper into this whirlwind of love, deception and mistaken identities. Imagine being shipwrecked and landing in a foreign land, only to be swept up in a comedic chaos of love and mistaken identity. This is exactly where our protagonist Viola finds herself in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. Surviving a brutal storm at sea, she lands on the shores of Illyria, a strange and unfamiliar land. Fearing for her safety, she decides to disguise herself as a man, taking on the alias Cesario. Viola, now Cesario, enters the service of Duke Orsino, whose head over heels in love with the beautiful Lady Olivia. Ironically, Orsino, unaware of Cesario's true gender, entrusts him with the task of wooing Olivia on his behalf. However, Fate has a funny way of spinning its web, and instead of falling for Orsino, Olivia falls for Cesario, who is indeed Viola in disguise. Meanwhile, Viola has fallen in love with Orsino. Yes, it's a love triangle, but not your usual one. It's a comedic twist of love, identity and miscommunication that only Shakespeare could so masterfully weave. While this love triangle unfolds, there's another plot brewing. It involves the roguish Sir Toby Belch, his friend Sir Andrew Aguecheek, and Olivia's maid Maria. They conspire to prank Olivia's uptight steward Malvolio, leading to some of the most uproarious moments in the play. The climax of the play arrives when Viola's twin brother, Sebastian, who was also shipwrecked but had been presumed dead, arrives in Illyria. Mistaken identities are untangled, and the true identity of Cesario is revealed to be Viola. Olivia, who had married Sebastian thinking he was Cesario, is surprised yet content, and Duke Orsino, realizing his beloved Cesario is actually a woman, declares his love for Viola. In the end, all's well that ends well in this delightful romantic comedy. Twelfth Night, with its mix of romance, comedy and a dash of drama, leaves us with a warm feeling of satisfaction and a reminder of the unpredictability of love and life. So. What can a 16th century play teach us about love and identity in the 21st century? Well, let's dive in. Twelfth Night, a masterpiece by Shakespeare, touches on themes that are incredibly relevant today. The play explores the fluidity of gender, with characters disguising themselves and stepping outside societal norms. It's a powerful reminder that identity is not rigid, but something that can be explored and redefined. Moreover, the play tackles the folly of self-love through characters like Malvolio, who is so absorbed in his self-importance that he becomes blind to reality. This serves as a timeless lesson on the dangers of narcissism and self-deception. These themes resonate with modern audiences, offering a fresh lens to view contemporary issues of identity and love. They remind us that even though societal norms and conventions have evolved, the human experience, our struggles with identity, love and self-perception, remains universal. Thus, through a blend of humor and insight, Twelfth Night continues to captivate audiences, proving that Shakespeare's genius truly transcends time.